Evil spirits and demonic possessions are two things that nobody wants. While some people might be tempted to try out a Ouija board for themselves, you will have to be very careful that you do not summon any of these terrifying demons. First up we have Incubus. This dark demon is said to take on the appearance of a male human who tries to impregnate unsuspecting women while they are asleep. Now the goal of Incubus is to use his unsuspecting victims to birth demons and witches in order to create more servants of hell and devil worshippers. The word Incubus is actually derived from the Latin language and directly translates to nightmare. So keeping that in mind, it only makes sense that this demon would appear in the shadows of the night to prey on his victims. It is not known how many dark beings Incubus could have fathered, but it is believed that the famous magician Merlin was actually created by Incubus. Many people believe that Merlin would actually spread dark magic in the towns that he traveled to while he was under the demon's control. Now some people also believe that this demon has actually been summoned through a Ouija board on multiple occasions. There are many stories that people find their partners alone in bed doing some unspeakable acts by themselves. It also appears that any woman who has been a victim of Incubus has no recollection of the events that led to their eventual pregnancy. And once a Ouija board has been used to summon Incubus, it is incredibly hard to get rid of him. This is not as simple as opening a door and kicking someone out of your house when you want them to leave. Some of the oldest tricks that were used in the medieval era include covering your bed in black salt and burning special types of incense that Incubus really doesn't like. So unless you want to have a very disgusting visitor arrive in your home, the Incubus is one demon you should never activate with a Ouija board. So do you believe that Ouija boards are as dangerous as people claim? Give us your thoughts in the comments down below as we check out some more demons. Next up is Beelzebub. This demon is viewed as many different things by many different people, which brings up the possibility that it could be a real life shapeshifter. Now most demons have a clear goal that they want to achieve, and they have various ways of manipulating their victims in order to obtain what they want. Beelzebub loosely translates to Lord of the Flies which has led many to believe that this demon could very well take on the appearance of a small insect. However, other stories have described Beelzebub as a large demon that actually commands a huge army of insect-like creatures. It is said that Beelzebub uses its many servants to cause destruction and wreak havoc on Earth through violent attacks. These servants are generally regarded as scum and excrement that are lurking in the deepest depths of the underworld. Some religious figures even believe that these servants are damned souls who are forced to carry out their lord's dirty work for the rest of a eternity. The Catholic Church especially fears Beelzebub as he is even mentioned in the Bible. The scribes in Mark 3.22 have actually accused Jesus Christ himself of working directly with Beelzebub. Some believe that the Lord of the Flies was banishing evil spirits away from earth on Jesus' orders so he could gain even more servants. Now anything that commands an army of evil spirits and has the ability to shapeshift should not be taken lightly. Summoning Beelzebub with a Ouija board can enrage the demon and cause it to take over your day to day life. There have been reports of Beelzebub appearing in homes as a large dark mass that is most active at night. Other smaller paranormal events are likely the work of his minions, but this is one demon you do not want to mess around with. After that we have Antoine Gay. This one may not sound as terrifying as a traditional demon, but it could be even more dangerous. Antoine Gay started out life as an ordinary human being, but he is infamously known as being one of the strongest cases of demonic possession to this very day. Antoine was a French who served in the military in the 1800s before becoming a carpenter in the city of Lyon. He then decided he wanted to begin the process of becoming a monk and was accepted as a lay brother at his local abbey. Now things took a strange turn for him however when he shockingly decided to leave the church due to a complete nervous disorder. His sudden mood swings and his unexplained conditions quickly started to raise concerns that he had been possessed by a demon. He was examined by priests and other religious figures who reported that Gay spoke in a much deeper tone and began to share dark secrets of his life. He also started speaking in perfect Latin without ever studying the language or having any knowledge of it. Now religious figures named the demon that had possessed Antoine Isacaro, but not much was known about the demon or its intentions beyond its name. Antoine Gay eventually passed away in the late 1800s due to various complications that priests believe were linked to the demon who had possessed him. But nowadays there are people who are convinced that Antoine Gay is still inhabiting our world as an evil entity. There are rumors that Isacaro had passed its energy onto Antoine when he passed away, and he is now tormenting other souls all around the world. However, because of the mystery surrounding the original demon, no one is really sure how to stop it. Ouija boards are likely the easiest way to summon it, but there is no reason why anyone should even attempt to do that. Next on our list is Baphomet. This demon is another direct servant of Satan, who was mentioned in texts as far back as the 11th century. He is described as a large winged beast with a goat head and a human-like body. Many paintings also show the words dissolve and coagulate tattooed on the demon's 
arms. Now this seems a little strange at first until you realize the main purpose of this demonic figure. Many believe that Satan had originally summoned Baphomet to destroy religion from the inside out. He would manipulate humans on earth to carry out some evil deeds and spread the word that religion was very bad for the soul. Of course Baphomet needed a large following of loyal servants who would help him in his quest and he didn't have a tough time finding them. The infamous Knights Templar that existed between the 12th and 14th centuries were apparently the main followers and direct servants of Baphomet. They would supposedly carry out all sorts of anti-Catholic rituals and actions which included spitting on the cross. While the Knights were technically a military order that was supposedly fighting alongside the Catholic Church, some believe that they were actually fighting against it. Many people started to question the Templars faith in the early 1300s and some were convinced that they were worshipping demons. Then in 1307, it was King Philip IV who ordered the majority of the Knights to be arrested for worshipping Baphomet. This led to the of many members and the complete dissolution of the order. But if you thought that spelled the end of Baphomet altogether, then you would be very, very wrong. There are many anti-religious groups that still exist today, and many believe that they are actively summoning Baphomet to carry out their orders. While many evil spirits are keen on working with this terrifying demon, others are still actively fighting to banish him forever. And finally we have Lucifer. Now this evil figure is actually a fallen angel who is now believed to be the demon of pride. Now because pride is one of the seven deadly sins, Lucifer's actions have resulted in him being labeled a demon by many in the Catholic Church. It is said that Lucifer was actually one of God's greatest creations and many regarded him as a true son of God. While Lucifer was gifted a throne by God himself and was placed in the Garden of Eden to enlighten humans, his own self pride eventually got the better of him. After witnessing the creation of Adam and Eve, Lucifer was ordered to bow to the original pair of humans. But in a defiant move of power, Lucifer declared that his creation was far superior and he refused used to bow to Adam and Eve. Now some believe that Lucifer was incredibly brave to rebel against his creator, but God was not interested in hearing his argument. Lucifer was banished from heaven for his actions and is regarded as the first sinner for putting his own self pride before God. His appearance as an angel quickly transformed into a demon who convinces people to develop egos. It is believed by many in the Catholic Church and others that egotistical people are the works of Lucifer himself as he leads them to their inevitable downfall. While many demons could be considered more dangerous due to their violent natures, Lucifer could actually be the most cunning of them all. His slow and steady manipulation of a person's ego can lead to some terrible choices in life that can have irreversible consequences. The estimated number of victims who have been manipulated by Lucifer throughout history is well into the millions. Summoning this entity through a Ouija board might not have an immediate impact on a person's life, but it will slowly crush them over time. There are definitely ways to fix a person who is possessed by Lucifer, but you'd be better off just keeping him far away from any Ouija boards. And that wraps up our look at the top 5 evil demons summoned by Ouija boards. Let us know which one scared you the most and be sure to hit like and subscribe for more creepy content.